I've got an extension cord here. Something funny is going on. You see that gap right there? Look at that. This plug is all loose. Has this ever happened to you? You've plugged in a cord at your house or something and your box is loose or something is loose. I'm not sure. Well, yeah, I think I do know what's going on here. Just that easy, I can figure that out. Do you have any idea what I'm looking at there? It was that quick, and I think I've got it figured out. Do you have it figured out? Look at this. Well, I know the box is loose. It looks like a blue box that was been painted just a little bit on the edge. This wall has just been recently painted. And it looks like this plug was installed with a cut-in box. And the top of the cut-in box is loose. I'm going to have to pull this plug apart. And I think I can fix that. And if I can do it, you can do it. It's not that hard. This is what I'm talking about here. This box is a cut-in box, just like this one here. And when you tighten up the cut-in box, you've got a screw here and one down here. And when you tighten it up, doink, this flap goes up in the back, and then when you tighten the screw, this pulls in from the back side. So this box has the same thing, and so what I think is happening is either this flap was too close up against the sheetrock, the sheetrock is 5 eighths, let's say, and if you only have that a half an inch or a sixteenth less than 5 eighths, when you go to flip this up like that, you might think it's on the back side of the sheetrock, but maybe you've only got it up that high and it's not going in all the way and you tighten this screw up all the way and you think it's tight and you don't know what else to do, it's because this flap is not on the back side. Now also that flap could have fallen off and I don't know why it would fall off but we're going to pull this apart and we're going to see what happens. You see there that one flops up like that you take that other screw at the bottom and as you tighten it you see how it comes down? See there? This flops down like that and when you tighten up the screw it pulls that and sucks it back in behind the box. And this cut-in box has little flanges that fit on the outside of the sheetrock wall. So, so that keeps this from being pushed into the wall and the back flap keeps it sucked tight up against the back side of the wall. And that's how a cut-in box works. So when I look at that, I saw it immediately it was a blue box, plastic box, and it looked like there's some flaps there. We'll pull this apart and get a, a little bit closer look. That's a dangerous proposition there. Now before you work on any box like this, make sure the power is turned off. And I've already done that. So I'm going to take this off here. Sure enough. It's a plastic cut-in box. See how the flaps are raised up on the edge and then they flop down there. And this box was installed, it cut in to the wall, and this plug was added. Okay, just like this here. So I may not have to pull this plug apart at all because the Romex wire should be fished in there and maybe I have enough slop to where I don't even have to pull this plug out of the actual box. I can loosen this. Well, first off, I just want to see if I can tighten this. You know what I mean? Think we can tighten that up? Let's try that first. And that could, that could be all it was. That, that flap needs to be backed off a little bit and tightened up. We'll try it and see. 